Welcome back to Carnadies.org. Today we're going to be continuing with the three months of modal logics, a sequel to the 100 days of logic, a logic 201. In this video, we're going to be continuing with November's theme of temporal logic, looking at the connectedness of time. This is going to be a new property of relations known as connectedness that we're going to learn about. So let's take a look. So connectedness or trichotomy being three instead of two, a dichotomy, a trichotomy, is a property that we have not seen before. But it's going to be important for some, but not all, of the temporal logics we're going to look at. In fact, there are going to be some temporal logics that deny that time is connected. Simply, what it means for some relation to have the property of being connected means that for any two things that that relation relates, one either has the relation to the other, they have the relations in the opposite situation, or they're identical to each other. Or in terms of time, any two instants, either one's before the other, the other's before the first, or they are identical. They have to be connected in some way. They have to either bear the precedence relation to each other or be identical. So long as there are not parts of time that are in some way separate or off from each other, or time does not branch off in some way, we would say that all instants are connected to each other. This trichotomy principle seems to make sense. They are either before, after, or identical to any other instant. So if I take the instant of at exactly... 10.55 p.m. on November 23rd, 2014. That exact instant, and of course we would have to fine-grain that down a little bit more because I've just defined a minute, that exact instant is before, after, or identical to any other instant in time. So for any other given instant in time, that other instant must be before, after, or identical to the instant I just mentioned. Basically, if we state this logically, we could say that for all instants x and all instants y, x precedes y, or y precedes x, or x is identical to y. Remembering that if two instants are at the same time, those instants are in fact identical. We'll represent that as COPT in proofs. Now, if you didn't really understand that, one way to kind of understand it is in the denial of it. If time was not connected, if we didn't have this kind of trichotomy principle. So, we could imagine a branching timeline that might not fit this criterion. Imagine that in one timeline, this first timeline, I choose to hit the snooze on my alarm and I go back to sleep. And in the other, I don't, I get up and I start eating breakfast. Can we really say, even if the same amount of time has passed between that moment where time split and this next instant, can we really say that I'm hitting the snooze the second time in my first timeline is the same instant as the instant I'm eating breakfast, even though the same amount of time has passed? It doesn't really make sense to relate instants on those separate timelines. They seem to be different instants, even if they're happening after the same amount of time from the point of branching. It doesn't really make sense to say that instants on those different timelines are before, after, or identical to any instant on that other timeline. So, branching might be one case in which this property of relations is not going to hold for precedence. Now, if you're interested in branching time, you should check out some of the videos that are going to come at the very end of our November Temporal Logic series. We're going to look at a couple different versions of branching time. Up next, we're going to be looking at, once again, another new property of relations known as density and the density of time. Watch this video and more here at Carneades.org and watch a new video every single day for three months here with the three months of modal logics. Stay skeptical, everybody.